everyone on it. Because if you're one of the elite, you get to survive. These crazy Cold War bunkers, they're like fantasy landscapes. They're kind of like monuments to elite delusion and paranoia, because they won't work, but they embody this self-justification. Yeah, sure, we can invest billions of dollars, trillions of dollars in atomic weapons, and even use them, and civilization will survive. That's deranged thinking. It's 2017, just after Trump's inauguration. Media theorist Douglas Rushkoff shows up at an exclusive resort to deliver a talk about the digital future to a group of wealthy tech executives. I was in the green room waiting to go on when five men came into the green room and sat around this little table they had there. And I found out that there was no talk for me to go do, that these guys were the talk. And they didn't want to hear the whole thing I had prepared. They just started peppering me with these questions like Bitcoin or Ethereum. Which one should they bet on? or augmented reality or virtual reality, which did I think would win? And then the third question, the one that made me realize that this was more than I signed up for, they said, uh, Alaska or New Zealand? Meaning, where should they situate their bunkers for the event? For years, New Zealand has been an apocalypse escape destination for America's elite. Notable home buyers include the tech tycoon Peter Thiel an outspoken supporter of Donald Trump. He's also bet that America was not the place to be if things collapsed. So he arranged for a New Zealand passport just in case. Other American elites were getting similar ideas. The rest of my hour with them was them asking me all these like really specific questions about how to water test their plans for the apocalypse for the electromagnetic pulse, or the economic downturn, or the disease or war that would necessitate them leaving their Silicon Valley ranches and retreating to these fortified bunkers in the middle of nowhere. The government's secret plans to save itself now have competition from the secret plans of the 1% from converted Cold War bunkers and missile silos to specially outfitted yachts, a doomsday industry caters to the mega-rich. Luxury bunkers with indoor pools, artificial sunlight, and supplies to stay sealed off from the world for years. From the Cold War till now, the most powerful people end up being the ones most afraid.